What is going on guys? I'm just getting back home. I had a uh, little emergency job come in. You know, I do the mobile auto repair and can't turn that down because that pays real good. So, anyways, <clears throat> yesterday I had a pretty slow day, so I had some free time. And um, I wanted to try a little something with these rims and it kind of worked. So, go back and look at some of the other videos and you'll notice like um, over the years, I guess like the brake dust or whatever, just damage the clear coat on the rim so when you went to clean the rims they would not clean up they looked like complete garbage and again um this is going to be like my little work truck take stuff to the dump and but you know but i still want to kind of make it nice so uh let me show you what i did let me come over here you'll still see some of my stuff over here um being tight on cash i'm trying to find productive things to do and i found this brand new bottle of this paint and epoxy remover. That's some toxic stuff. It gets on your skin, it burns like fire. Well, check this out. I went ahead and I took the rims off the truck and I put that epoxy or paint remover on and the clear coat just bubbled up and I mean, it literally just fell right off. Now, that's not the best looking rim. But again, look at the old videos. <clears throat> They're like black and brown and again they wouldn't wash up uh, but man after I put that stripper on there check these things out that don't look bad I think if I can find me some uh, center caps I'm not even gonna go to the junkyard uh, I found some on Amazon I think I get some center caps on there it's not gonna be that bad looking of a of a rim. And you know, I'll tell you what else I'm thinking about doing after I do my lettering and everything down the side. I'm thinking about maybe putting like some white letter tires on it. And uh, maybe having some fun, you know, go with like a uh, standard on the front. And maybe put like a like a wide or a fat tire on the back. Kind of like a race truck look or something. Hell, maybe if I make enough money, I'll put some dual exhaust on it with some Flowmasters. That'd be kind of cool. But um, anyways, yeah, check that out. I really wish now, with the video, I wish I would have done it before, because I had no clue they were going to clean up this good. This one here, it looks like there's a couple of spots I need to do a little bit more. Actually, if I had the center cap, you wouldn't even see that. But, um, anyways, again, money is tight. I'm trying to be productive. Another shot of that grill. Blacking out the, the center. I know I've already talked about it, but I gotta be honest with you. I'm glad I did it. It makes it look so much better uh, If I can find some decent Ford headlights and just slap it back in there, I'll be happy with that so But with that said I'm gonna try to have a better month next month financially and That'll give me some more money to Get some more stuff done. I want to put a diamond plate toolbox in the back and um, again, the visors around the windows. I want to get all that done. But uh, yeah, kind of a boring video. Sorry about that. But overall, those rims look so much better. So if you've got an older truck like this and you got the aluminum mags and they just look like crap, you can try what I did. Get uh, some good old fashioned aircraft stripper. Um, and it's gotta be the thick stuff, like the gel paint it on there with a paintbrush not so bad and there's my dog all right guys i am tired i'm sore i've been rolling around on the concrete doing that damn alternator job i think i'm gonna go inside kick off my shoes and uh try to relax so you guys have a go one more videos to come and maybe not boring like this one so Y'all take it easy.